Gaining entry is a critical first step because you have to get yourself into the situation you're going to be working in. In order to do that, you need to first know the sport. Second, know the team and the context of the situation that you're going to be working in with that team. The third thing that you have to be aware of is you are going to be checked out and evaluated by any coaching staff that's going to bring you in to work with their team. And the final thing is, at some point in the entry phase, you're going to have to discuss as best you can the contract that you're going to establish in working with that team. In gaining entry, one of the first things is to know the sport that you're going to be working with because there are definite differences between the various sports. For example, an open sport like soccer is very different than a closed sport like baseball where you have the pitcher and the hitter and they start and stop and there's breaks in the action where with the soccer it's continuous, it's ongoing. Also, big difference being objective and subjective sports. Sports where time, clocks, swimming, track and field versus subjective sports, figure skating, gymnastics, when you get that judge involved. Whole different environment, whole different set of issues that you're dealing with. Contact versus non-contact sports. Big difference there. Taking the constant abuse. You look at a game like rugby where you're dealing with the aerobic aspect of the sport but also the constant contact and the beating down that goes with it versus a non-contact sport like bowling. Two different sports, two different types of environments that you're going to be working in. Aerobic sports versus anaerobic. Aerobic sports where you're dealing with pain in so many of them. Cardiovascular fatigue that you have to deal with. Team sports versus individual sports. A figure skater versus a football player. Two different things. Being sensitive to those differences and understanding the psychological demands that go with those different sports helps you out. One sport that I have found has been very unique when I started with water polo. It was very interesting because water polo involves three sports. It involves swimming, it involves wrestling, and it involves basketball, the passing, receiving skills that are involved there. And then, of course, there's the weird sports like baseball and softball where they're one of the few sports that you don't have the ball on offense. That shifts everything. And understanding those subtle differences will help you be sensitive to what those athletes are dealing with. Another thing that goes with knowing your sports are knowing the subcultures of the sport, the cultural context that they perform in. That's helped me so much. Looking at the country club environment that you find with golf and tennis versus the dugout in baseball, the locker room in football, those are two different environments that you're dealing with. And understanding that culture is very important.